Hello, so today we're going to try to run a Keurig coffee maker on a 2000 watt inverter. So underneath this inverter we have two uh, golf cart size batteries. So we have a 12 volt system and a uh, Samlex power inverter pure sine wave. We have some metering as well. So the intent here is to show that we can make uh, two large cups of coffee off of the battery without uh, discharging the batteries too far. Right now the battery's steady state charge is 12.55 volts, which is about 80% charged. So that's not too bad if you're out on the road and you haven't run your charger in a while. And you want to try to make your coffee, that should uh, be about the right starting voltage. So to get this going, what we have to do is turn on the inverter. The inverter has a controller and a screen as well. Once the uh, charger boots up or the inverter boots up, it'll show a voltage. Then we'll move over to the uh, watts. So we have 120 volts. You know it's going to say 120 for the entire test, so we're just going to go to the watts. So we can see how much uh, power the uh, Keurig is going to be using. So for right now we're at uh, 3.6. I might have to read it out depending on how things are going. And then we're drawing about uh, 2 amps on the uh, system. So now we're just going to turn on the uh, Keurig and let it warm up. So right away the voltage drops. And it is drawing 1340 watts, which is 140 amps, which is quite a bit of power. So it'll have to just take a bit of time to boil the water there. So unfortunately with this uh, video, you're going to be just stuck watching the meters for a fair amount of time. You can certainly smell the inverter is starting to warm up, but it hasn't had a load like this on it for very much. At some point the uh, fans are going to kick in on it. The inverter is about 85% efficient. the water boiling in the coffee machine over here. Not much to see with it obviously. You hear the water has got up to temperature and the voltage is backing off now. And it looks like we're ready to do one run. So you might be wondering why we're trying to run a Keurig inside of a camper that's got a natural gas range. But it's just a matter of convenience. We travel quite a bit. Some places don't have very good coffee. So we're hoping we can bring this device with us. So the voltage has recovered on the battery since the load has come off. The Keurig is using very little electricity at this point. Looks like the screen has gone to sleep. So just like three watts uh, pushing the water through. The fan still hasn't turned on inside the inverter. It 
it's a continuous duty inverter, so this is, shouldn't be too much work for it. So we're going to fill this cup. It takes two runs to fill up each cup. going to have to warm up another batch of water so the uh, load's going to come up again. You got it 1360 watts, which is pretty good. The nameplate on the uh, Keurigs is about 1400 watts. I guess if you haven't had a tour of a Class B camper before, there's not a lot to them. The road checks are pretty nice actually. We got a little bit of storage up on top. Here's the uh, gas range. There's a sink here with a, a water pump that runs the uh, sink. Then there's a fridge here. This fridge is actually just brand new. It was just put in recently. So we're going to run a, another cycle here now the machine's ready. And of course, that's uh, where you do your driving from. This uh, seats are supposed to turn into double beds, but we just there's a couple, so we do not use them. And this is an extra seat where the uh, batteries and the inverter go. And inside of there is the washroom. So we're at 11 volts on the battery. Load still 1370. And then the uh, amps are just dropped off, so it's turning off the heating elements. Again, the voltage is recovered on the battery. We're getting there. We'll be pretty close to the edge of the uh, cup when we're done. It's interesting the Keurig doesn't use a lot of electricity except for when it's heating the water. Alright, we just uh, ran out of memory on the camera here, so just finished making the uh, first part of the second cup here. Just reset the Keurig here and do another run. So, the voltage recovered on the uh, battery again. Get the screen up here. So it's just pumping water, so it's not using very much for wattage. And uh, the amps are back up actually. It's hard to see. Yeah, so we're back almost to 1400 watts. So on this uh, display, you can actually go through. It has, uh, we're on watts, and the next one is power factor, or VA rather. The power factor should be pretty high most of the time, although it's not. It's just a resistive element, except right now it's running a pump. The voltage is up where it needs to be, and the uh, apps are pretty low. The Keurig is probably 10 amps on the uh, AC when it's running. 60 hertz, 3 watts. So looks like we're going to pass our test. The voltage on the battery is doing pretty good. The steady state voltage would have to be tested later in about 3 hours, but uh, it hasn't dropped down too much. And there you go. So we got two full cups, so we passed our test. So it wasn't money wasted. So that's uh, pretty happy to see that.